Hey guys, Lewis here with Premium Beat, and today we're going to have a look at the basics of using the wiggle expression. Sometimes we find that our animation is slightly devoid of character, a little lifeless, and all that it requires is a slight bit of movement. However, to go in and continually add movement to a word or perhaps a shape layer is tedious. You're going to have to do it every few keyframes, then it's the task of making it look organic. Therefore, what we can look to do is instead employ the wiggle expression. First, before we look at what the wiggle expression does, we have to ask what is an expression? So an expression is just a piece of JavaScript code that you can insert into the properties of shapes, texts, and media. Now, unlike a script, which tells the application to do something, for example, this script, uh, Anchor Sniper, tells the application, the application being After Effects, to position the anchor point of the selected layer to the center, to the right, or to the top. An expression will inform the individual property of a layer to do something. In the case of the wiggle expression, we're instructing the property, which is the scale, the opacity, or the position, to wiggle within the set parameters. And this is a lot faster than tediously animating the media back and forth, or to continually lower the opacity, and so forth. Now, while the language is based on JavaScript, you don't need to know JavaScript to get started with expressions. I have numerous expressions tucked away in my head. I haven't the faintest idea about uh, JavaScript. For this example, I have created this end card and we're going to pretend this appears at the end of a recycling commercial. So we've got a 3D camera moving upward with a visible parallax between the foreground and the mountains. That looks nice. We've got some clouds moving in the background to make it a little bit more dynamic. And then a 3D push in. It looks quite nice, but this yes to recycling uh, slightly boring and I think a wiggle to the position would be the perfect expression to give it a little bit more life. So to do this we're going to select the yes layer and hit P to open up the position transform properties. You are then going to hit alt on PC or option on Mac and click on the stopwatch to create the expression. So this is going to open up a text editing field and a few parameters are going to turn red telling you that an expression is active. So you're going to type wiggle, open bracket, then the first number, which is going to be the frequency of the movement. I'm going to put in two. This would be two movements per second, comma, and then the second number, which I'm going to use 50, is the amplitude of the movement, and then closed bracket. So wiggle, open bracket, frequency number, comma, amplitude number, closed bracket. And this expression reads that it's going to wiggle 50 pixels on the X and Y axis twice a second. So let me break that down again. The first number is how many times a second. The second number is the amount of pixel movement. If you think 50 is too much, and in my case, I think it is, lower the number. If you want the movement to happen more frequently, higher the frequency number. If we had done this with keyframes, every time the client wanted changes, we'd have to go in and individually adjust the parameters, not fun. Okay, with that, let's look at some additional elements of the wiggle expression. Now, I guess you could say for the most part, uh, the wiggle is somewhat uncontrollable. Uh, this movement is just gonna repeat based on the parameters you've input into the text field over and over again until otherwise instructed. However, we can add some personalized wiggle movements with keyframes. So to do this, you want to open up the property which the wiggle is applied, in our case, the position, right click and select convert expressions to keyframes. Now the expression is laid out as a series of keyframes, allowing you to adjust the position for specific areas to move differently and allowing you to also stop and start the expression as you see fit by deleting keyframes in specific areas. So if we wanted the wiggle to freak out quite sporadically for a second, I could just exaggerate the position for these keyframes. However, Stopping and starting a, uh, an expression like this isn't necessarily an elegant way of doing so. So let's look at a more refined process that also allows you to adjust the speed at which the wiggle operates. A common technique is to have expression controls on a null object. So that means that we'll be controlling the parameters of the implemented expression on a separate layer. Now this may seem slightly convoluted. However, when you're using a multitude of different expressions or perhaps a variety of different layers that all have uh, the wiggle expression and you want to control it all simultaneously, this is a much more efficient method. So in our pretend example, we're going to say that the client wants the area of movement of the yes 
rate increase over the few seconds the yes is in screen. So we need to gradually increase the amplitude. To do this, we're going to add a null object and then apply the effect sliders control to the null. And this effect can be found under the expressions control category. Select the wiggle control layer in the timeline, type E to reveal the slider control, click the triangle for the slider control to see the stopwatch. Go to the wiggle text expression and highlight just the five within the expression parameters. You're then going to click the pick whip and drag it up to the slider stopwatch. After this, it's very important to add an end bracket or you're gonna get an expression error. Now you're no longer going to see the wiggle expression in the text field. And this is because the slider is now controlling how much movement there is for the expression or better terms for the wiggles amplitude in our case. So we're gonna click the stopwatch to create a keyframe at the beginning of the movement. We're gonna move the playhead further in time and change the amount for the slider to increase the wiggle. If I play that back, yep, I'm sure that's exactly what the client wants. Using a null object in this manner allows you to specify where the wiggle is to start and also by how much. If you wanted your object to wiggle, but just along the one axis, perhaps either along the X axis or up and down on the Y axis, there is code for that. However, uh, there's no point in telling you on video because it kind of looks like the matrix. Uh, so instead that will be linked over in the accompanying blog article. But what was discussed here today should hopefully get you started with using the wiggle expression. So my name is Bean Lewis with Premium Beat and I will catch you guys next time.